Joe season ending injury only accentuates problems the Bengals already had. The Cincinnati Bengals are in dire straits with Friday's news that Joe Burrow is out of the season with a torn ligament. As they saw in the second half of their blowout loss to the Baltimore Ravens on Thursday night, there's a big drop-off from Burrow to Jake Browning, their current backup quarterback. With Burrow out, the Bengals will need a total team effort to save their season and get into the postseason and quite frankly, they needed to be playing much better when Burrow was in the lineup. The problem for the Bengals is they just might not be good enough to see their goals through the season. The offense being banged up is one thing, but right now, the defense is just flat out bad. The past two Bengals squads have gotten off to similar disappointing starts. In 2022, Cincinnati started 0-2 and fought its way all the way to the AFC title game, where it ended up falling short against the eventual Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. It was a remarkable achievement, given the margins for error were so slim after dropping the first two games of the season. That doesn't feel possible for the 2023 Bengals, whose defense has fallen off a cliff. According to RBSDM.com, the 2022 Bengals ranked 8th in expected points allowed per play, minus 0.045, and 7th in success rate, 42.2%. Pair that with a top 5 offense and that team had what it takes to dig itself out of a hole and go on a run. This year's Bengals defense ranks 22nd in expected points allowed per play, minus 0.001, and 30th in success rate. In a way, the Bengals are in a similar spot as the AFC rival Buffalo Bills. They have a supremely talented quarterback with enough of a supporting cast to have faith in their performance but a good chunk of the roster around them is starting to get old or walked out of the building this offseason. This is where the expectations around teams that win a lot can get a bit muddy. It takes a consistent reloading process year after year to avoid a down season like this something that's really hard to do. One bad offseason can set a team back, but on the flip side, it takes only one offseason for a team like the Bengals to spring back to the top of the AFC.